All right, a quick summary of how to use this FET simulation. I just clicked refresh, and then I'm just gonna click to open all of these things. So let's see Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law is pressure and volume. So I'm gonna add 100 heavy particles, let them float around, and to see Boyle's Law, technically I want to keep the temperature constant, so I don't wanna change that. And when I change the volume, watch what happens to the pressure. Change the volume, what happens to the pressure, okay? Also, um, <clears throat> if I were changing the pressure, it would change volume. But here I'm just changing volume, seeing pressure. Now let's see Charles' Law, volume and temperature. So I'm gonna keep pressure constant. I'm gonna change the temperature and uh, I'm gonna see what happens to the volume. Change the temperature, see what happens to the volume. That is Charles's law. Another way to see Charles's law is to change the volume and see the changes in temperature, okay? So change the volume and see the changes in temperature. All right, let's go back to our starting volume. And then our last law is Gay-Lussac's law, which is temperature and pressure. So that means our volume is constant. And when we have the volume constant and change the temperature, watch what happens to the pressure as we lower the temperature and as we raise the temperature. Okay, lower the temperature and raise the temperature. See what's happening to the pressure, okay? Now, if we keep nothing constant, just leave it as it is, all right? Uh, something that we can see is wall collisions. So look at what our pressure is. Um, we'll just let the number of wall collisions go. Okay, this is how many we have. What if the pressure were higher? Okay, so let's heat this up and increase the pressure. Now, see what it was before? Now let's test out the wall collisions and see what happens. Well, you see, as we increase the pressure, the collisions increase because collisions are the number, uh, pressure is a measure of the number of collisions, okay? So collisions are creating the pressure, all right? Um, and let's see, what about right here? What if I open the container? So right now we have a closed container. What if I open it? Watch what's happened to that pressure. Okay, also, what is also changing? My temperature. I just opened the volume, okay? I really opened that space. I could close it back up. You can see I have a lot less particles here. Because remember, gases completely fill their container. So if I open this, the particles are going to leave. They're going to escape. They're going to diffuse out. Keeping a closed container allows me to see the relationship between these laws. All of these laws assume I have a closed container. That's something important to remember, all right? Uh, so the last thing, just to remind you, when we add light particles, you can see the difference in the movement of those light particles versus the heavy particles, okay? So there's a difference, right, in the, in the movement of the light particles versus the heavy particles. So there you go, a quick summary of using this FAT simulation to see the gas laws then all combined into shocking the combined gas law formula.